In this lesson, we're going to do a little bit more of a complex type of selection, which is going to be inverse selection, meaning that you're going to start off selecting something, but then you're going to do the inverse of that selection, meaning you're going to select the opposite, everything but what's actually selected. So for example, I have all these peppers here, and if I want to select all of these, but I'm really going to select this first, what I'm going to do is first of all, select the layer that I want to work with, and then very simply, I'm gonna use my direct selection tool. And if I wanna get everything but this, I'm just gonna go over here to select, and then you're gonna see here is inverse, and a nice keyboard shortcut of shift control I. And when I do that, you'll notice very subtly everything but this gets selected. So how can I tell? Take a look at all my little marching ants along the outside, as opposed to I'm going to go and undo when they were just on the inside. I'll go ahead and redo. And you're going to see now they're all on the outside. If I were to hit the delete key right now, everything but that gets selected. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And you're going to see here, I'll go ahead and just go ahead and undo. And if I hit the delete key again, you'll notice here only that gets selected. Okay, so when is that gonna be valuable for me? When you only have like one little thing that's gonna be a lot easier to select, but you wanna have everything else to be deleted or modified, you can then do an inverse selection of something, okay? So it's a really effective tool to be able to kind of, again, do sort of the opposite, but have a little, less work to do to actually make that selection. Let's go ahead and see that in another context. So I'm going to now select all of these, right, I'm holding down the shift key. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do an inverse selection, control shift I, and then when I hit delete, notice all of my white now gets deleted. Okay, because all the white on the outside of the peppers has now been selected, and then I hit the delete key on my keyboard, and they all got deleted, right? All the white got deleted. So really, really makes for a nice sort of nuance to your selection techniques. That's the inverse selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Control D to deselect. All right, now I'm gonna show you something else in terms of selection. We're gonna continue on with this discussion of inverse, but we're gonna sort of add to that, where I wanna put um, this little effect behind here. This is a kind of a sunburst effect. And you're gonna learn how to do this in our advanced class through something called polar coordinates. Now, I wanna make it so this is gonna be behind all my peppers, but I'm gonna do this nice little effect where it's gonna sort of like get washed out and feathered in the background. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, not too big. I can always resize it after the fact. I'm gonna do um, Shift and Alt to then just click and drag from the outside and then it does this nice concentric type of resizing. All right, and don't worry about the fact that we can't see the peppers now, we're gonna see them in just a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just do a basic selection from the center using my elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just gonna do it right from the center. And just like what I did before, I'm gonna do shift and control and then notice what I'm doing here, just like that. And when I let go of shift, Right, it still comes from the center, but it's a different size. Okay, so you can see that. So depending on what you're trying to do at that point. Okay, so you can see that's a nice little nuance on how you can select. Or if you don't want that exact shape, you can just do whatever you like. I'll go ahead and deselect, and I'll just do from up here. And then maybe that's the selection you are wanting. Now, why am I doing this? Because I don't really want all this stuff around here, but I still want to keep this center part. All right, now, from here, really what I want is to delete everything on the outside of this, keeping this in the middle. So again, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna say select and then inverse. Okay, and then you're gonna see all my little marching ants around here along the outside. And if I were to hit delete right now, you're gonna see it's gonna do that. Okay, so you'll see again, another variation on how you can use the inverse selection. Now let's go a step further. I'm gonna go over here back to select. And this time I'm gonna go over here to modify and I'm gonna choose feather. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna feather this little outside selection, meaning it's gonna be a 
a little more of a soft type of selection, right? So when it cuts it off, it's not going to be just like a hard line. All right, so I'm just going to make this, let's just say 50 for now. I have no idea what that's going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit OK. And then when I hit Delete, you'll notice a nice little effect there. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And one more time, let's go ahead and go back to Select, Modify, Feather. Let's just say 100 this time. Click OK. And we can't tell right now, but it is a softer type of selection coming along this outside. So when I delete it from outside here, it just feathers it, right? It's a nice softer type of erasing, if you will, when I hit delete. And you can see, ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and deselect. And now let's go ahead and move this underneath it. And now you're gonna see, oh, I got a nice, exciting, very cool effect. And then I'll go ahead and just hit my V key. I'll make that a little bit bigger. And you can see, great. Now they look very exciting and you can't resist these. Okay, so very, very cool. So that is just a few different examples of how you can use a different type of selection, which is the inverse selection, but then throwing in that added bonus of working with feathering when you're selecting just as well. Okay. And in future classes, we're going to talk about masking, which is going to be a different type of selection or inverse selection, depending on what you're doing. That's going to have a little less um, kind of impact or kind of, you know, terminality on what you, what you delete. All right. So we'll get into that in the future. But in the meantime, practice this and see different examples of how you might use this. All right, and uh, stay tuned for the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.